Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar is uh, part of our Leadership Team series of webinars, and what we're going to be talking about today is the Chapter Goals Program. And the Chapter Goals Program, this was actually modeled uh, directly after a that the Goal Planning 101 uh, program that's been in BNI for a long time now, and it's specifically designed to really to help leadership teams focus on the things that they're doing in their chapter and really the, the, the growth of their chapter um, over the course of their leadership term, whether that's for the next six months or whether it's for the next 12 months or whether you're smack dab in the middle of your leadership team right now, your leadership term. So we're going to go over how you can enter the goals and how with BNI Connect, will actually allow you to follow up with your goals and follow through with them throughout the year. Before we get into that, just a couple of very, very quick housekeeping things. Uh, yep, first of all, uh, this is part of a series. I do recognize a number of names on this call. Um, Alicia and Cindy and Sarah and Robert, thank you guys all so much for being here for another webinar. I think know you guys have been on a number of them already. Um, but if you are listening to this today, uh, today happens to be March 29th, 2017, uh, that means that you're listening to a live webinar. Uh, this is an interactive webinar. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, compliments, uh, complaints, whatever it might be, drop those into the questions panel. You'll see a place where you can type in. Those pop up on my screen and I can uh, you know, answer those either as we're going along or if it's something else, we can tackle it at the end of the webinar. Now these webinars are scheduled for about 30 minutes each. I know you guys have taken time out of your very busy lives and businesses in order to be here and learn more about BNI Connect and dedicating this time to your chapter, uh, but I do try to be respectful of that time as well, so we will get through the content portion of this within 30 minutes. Now that said, this is what I do. This is what I do all day, every day. I support BNI Connect, so if you have any questions at all, uh, please rest assured that I will stay on this call until every single question has been answered. Uh, so whether that's five minutes or 50 minutes, I am happy to stay on this call until um, the questions have run dry. Now, if you're listening to this in the future, if you've uh, hopped in your DeLorean and you're listening to this later on in time, that means that you are listening to a recording. And we do record every single one of these webinars, and we try to make them available as soon as possible up on our support site by clicking on the question mark in BNI Connect, or you can always find them on our YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube, our channel is BNI Connect Global. So that's youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. As I said, this is part of a series of webinars, and a good referral for me is to please let other people know about these webinars uh, so they can join us next time. All right, so enough about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual stuff we're going to talk about today. And again, we're going to talk about the goals for leadership teams. So again, the, the purpose of this is really to, to get you guys focused and to look at, you know, really the long-term planning of your chapter. So we can record those in BNI Connects. And the way that we do this is, you know, basically, we, we are going to have to go to those scary places beyond the home screen in order to access this stuff. We access all the other stuff in BNI Connect by going up to these menus along the top. And really, for the day-to-day -day management functions of your chapter, the place that we're going to go to is operations. So network is the networking components, the connections, the groups, the testimonials. Reports are really read only. But since we need to enter stuff, we're going to go to operations. So let's go to the operations menu and take a look at what we can find there. So this is, again, all the, the chapter management stuff we have on the left. One of those things that you should see is this manage goals function. Now, there are two things once you get in there. One says enter goals, and one is view goals. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get these goals into the system. But the beauty of this is after we get it into the system, we can then track the goal. So as you're entering POMS reports and things like that on a weekly basis, we'll insert your results into the report so that you can see how you're doing. Let's take a look at how that works. So first, Let's click on Enter Chapter Goals. So enter Chapter Goals. And this is going to allow us to uh, do a couple of things. Now, the first thing that we do, and you only have to do this really once for your chapter or any time you want to update it. You don't have to do this every time. Uh, we need to come up with, 
really the, the long-term vision and mission statement for our chapter, right? We have to come up with our purpose for being a chapter. So that first thing there is the long-term vision. Now, the long-term vision is kind of the, you know, where do you want to get to, right? And the, the goal of, it, of your chapter and your existence in business hopefully isn't just to tread water. It's to get to a certain, uh, a certain place. You want to be more successful. Now, this particular goal you know, doesn't necessarily have to include the numbers. Now, we're going we're gonna to be tracking the numbers once we get into kind of the spreadsheet part of this. Uh, this is more kind of kind of a more of a generalized uh, statement about where you want to get to as a group of business individuals. So this is my this is my BNI Burr chapter up in Antarctica. And what what we've put in for our learn, long term vision is we want to grow this chapter to be the largest chapter in the entire continent. In addition, we wish to be the number one chapter in closed business and referrals within a 200-mile radius. So that's that's kind of that's our our you know, sunset in the distance that we want to get to. So if the if the long-term vision is where you want to get to, the mission statement is really it's what's going to be your guiding principles, your ideology for getting to that long-term vision. So the mission statement that we came up with is well. As a chapter, we want to help members increase their business through a structured, positive, and professional word-of-mouth program that enables them to develop long-term, meaningful relationships with quality business professionals. So that is our mission statement as a chapter. Now, this, this isn't something that you should be copying and pasting. This is something that you need to come up with for yourselves as a group. And it's something that can, that can permeate over multiple and, and last through multiple leadership teams. So after you've got those, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our start month and year. Now, what this is essentially saying is, you know, we're, we're going to put in our goals in six-month stretches, right, just to make it, it manageable and so it doesn't create this, you know, infinite spreadsheet on the screen. We're going to do this in six-month increments. By default, we're going to offer up the next six-month leadership period, which right now, the next one is April. 2017 through the end of September 2017. So you can either plan those goals, but you, you know you don't have to choose this particular date. You can choose any month you want to start, any year you want to start, and you can put the goals in, but you will be given always a six-month period to work with. So once I click go, it's going to go and it's going to create that six-month spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is, you know, again, now the, the point of this is we're just going to be popping in a bunch of numbers. And you'll see that for each one of these, we have the month along the top, so April, May, June, July, August, and September. So this is that next six-month BNI period. And what we have in these blue bars for each section those are called the chapter success drivers, the chapter success drivers. And those are the things really that we're measuring because part of having smart goals is they do need to be measurable, right? It's not just not enough to say we want a big chapter. It's not even enough to say we want the biggest chapter. But what are the actual numbers that we're going to track? So those success drivers are attendance percentage. How many people are showing up to the meeting? Total number of one-to-ones. CEUs, or chapter education units, just going to scroll down a little bit to get to some of these others, visitors, new memberships, number of total members in the chapter, number of referrals, and thank you for closed business. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up with these numerical goals on a monthly basis. Now, before I get started with, with going through each of those, You'll notice that there's a field here at the top here. It says, enter goals, and you have two options. One is for the whole chapter, and the other is per member. You can only make this choice once, so choose wisely. The, uh, ba what, what this is saying is, do I want to work with a big number, or do I want to work with a small number? Right. So if you're putting them in for the whole chapter, you're going to basically put in how many, how many referrals per month does our chapter want? How many one-to-ones per month? What's our membership at the end of the month? So 
when you do a per member number, that means that for each of those goals, the referrals and one-to-ones, all that, you would put in, well, we want each member to have this many of this metric at the end of the month. Now, when you go to review the report, it will then calculate out. It will multiply your goals per member by your goal number of members to come up with the total, just so you know that. I can tell you that most people that use this tool, they use this as a for the whole chapter tool. Um, so they're coming up with that, that bigger number when they're entering them into the system here. So let's take a look at these individual goals. So one of these goals, the very first one here, is attendance percentage. In other words, what is the uh, you know, percentage of people that are showing up to the weekly meeting? Now, you will notice that there's a couple of you know, kind of extra fields here. The first one says goal. Now, that's, that's pretty easy. That's the number that we're going to put in for what our goal is. The other things that you see there are the mechanisms. You have a mechanism one and a mechanism two. The mechanisms are the things that you want to remind yourself to do to support those goals. They could be chapter initiatives. They could be ideas that you have. You know, because the, the truth of the matter is we are all really, really busy. All of us. And B&I, except for a select few of us out there, B&I is not a full-time job. Being on the leadership team isn't a full-time job. We have our regular jobs to do. So unfortunately, what happens a lot is that we have this great idea for something that we're going to do with our chapter. And we're all psyched up to do it, but then all of a sudden you get to the meeting and you're, you're going to announce this great thing that you're going to do, and, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens at the meeting, and you forget about it, and, you know, you know what are you going to do? You forgot. So all of a sudden a week goes by. Oh, you know what? I'll just announce it next week get to the meeting next week and it just didn't seem to be the right time or there were people missing and then, so you know what, we'll do it next week. And before you know it, a month goes by, two months goes by, six months goes by. So this is also really you're planning kind of these, these ideas, these initiatives, the agenda for things that you want to do on a monthly basis in order to support those goals. All right, so let's take a look at one of these. So attendance percentage. So now this is my BNI Burr chapter in Antarctica and we're we're having a little bit of an attendance issue. Now, the thing is, I kind of know where we are right now. We're at about 80% attendance. So now what I could do is I could go through here and come up with month by month. What I actually like to do, now this is, this is kind of a, a personal thing, uh, personal piece of advice. What I usually do for these is I come up with where we are now, and then I come up with where we want to be in six months. So kind of begin with the end in mind. And I know at the end of this six-month period, I would be thrilled if we got to 90% attendance. Right? So from 80 to 90. And the nice thing is now, now I actually know how much we need to in increase each month. So 80 to 90, well, that, that's about 10. So that would be, I guess, about two per month. So 82, 84, 86, 88, and 90. So now I can see a nice steady growth of that over the months. Now, again, before you jump down my throat on this one, I know that a lot of people are very you know, detail-oriented and focused, especially on the leadership team. A lot of people overcomplicate this, and I realize there are a lot of factors that will control a lot of these goals. For example, I, I know that July and, and uh, August in Antarctica, everybody's on vacation. And we historically have a crazy dip in attendance during those time periods. You know, it's the only two warm months of the year. So, you know, we can go through and really analyze these to the nth degree and say, well, you know what, in this month it's actually going to dip to 80, 83, and then this month it's going to dip up to, you know, down to 82, but then we're probably going to have 84 here. You know, yes, we can definitely do all that. However, my uh, caveat to you is, it's better to have something there than nothing, and I would start with some basics and then go back and, you know, really, you know, needle at it with a fine-tooth comb. The thing about the goals in BNI Connect for you guys is this is your tool, right? This is something for you guys to use. You can go back and change them. 
right? If your goals are too low, go back and make them higher. If you set unrealistic, ridiculous goals that you have no way of achieving, go back and make them a little bit lower. This is supposed to be a positive tool um, for you guys to use. We're not going to lock them down on you once you submit them. All right, so with that said, I'm choosing to go with a linear pattern here. And now we come up with the mechanisms. Again, the mechanisms are things that you're going to do to support your goals in the chapter. So the very first month here, you know, one thing that we may want to do is we might want to have our education coordinator do an education moment on the importance of attendance and almost announcing our initiative. So let's say we're going to have the education, I'm going to abbreviate that EM for education moment on importance of showing up at the meeting. Right, and these can be little cliff notes for you guys. They don't have to be full-blown, you know, 17-paragraph detailed uh, plans or anything like that. This is just your cheat sheet to remind yourself what you're going to do each month. So a second mechanism might be, you know, we're going to <clears throat> announce to the chapter our initiative to get to 90% attendance. All right, so that's something we could do. Maybe in the next month, we're going to make sure that our VP is doing the accountability letters. You know, that's a big part of it, is making sure that we're doing those accountability letters. And may, maybe another thing that we're going to do is we're going to do an education moment on how to get a good sub. Right, and I mean, you can continue these through. The, 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 really, the, the whole purpose here is to come up with things that are going to support those goals and to carry you through the term so that on a weekly or a monthly basis, you can be reviewing and say, oh, yeah, you know what? It's just about time to do this thing. Now, if you're, if you're, if you're stuck, right, we all get stuck, just can't think of what to put in there, you'll notice that there's this button up at the top. It says chapter goal guide, chapter goal guide. If you click this button, this will give you kind of a cheat sheet of just some, some, some ideas. By no means is this an exhaustive list. Your creativity is you know, much bigger than what we could possibly fit uh, here, but you can do things like you know, copy and paste. So the mentoring program, that's a great way, especially to get your, your, uh, your, your new members in the habit by Im implementing the mentoring pro. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to highlight that, copy it, and I'm going to paste that in here as a mechanism. So again, we'll try to help you out there by having a chapter goal guide accessible for you. Right? And essentially, that's what we're going to do for all of them. So let's just, I'm not going to, uh, you know, go deep into details with everything, but let's just take a look at these other goals. You know, my strategy here is, you know, you don't have to go in order. You can skip around, and probably the, the number one goal that you're going to have for your chapter, um, and the one that's actually going to define almost all of the rest of the goals, is number of members in the chapter. Now, why that one's not at the top, so you could just automatically do that one first, is, you know, that's another question. But, Scroll down, and we want to do the number of members in chapter because, again, that's, that's really going to define everything else. And you know, right now, our chapter is at 30 members. And you know what? It would be great if we could grow by, you know, let's, just, let, let, let's call it a, you know, shoot for the sky. Let's go by 10 members again. So we're going to go to 40 members in the next six months. So again, I begin with the end in mind, uh, 30 to 40, that's a 10-member growth. Uh, so that means that 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40, right? So that's going to give us a nice steady growth over the six months. Now, again, if you got things like a visitor day planned, we know we have membership extravaganza in these next couple of months and, you know, all that kind of stack days and whatnot, you know, you may see a spike. So you might want to say, you know, we're, we're going to have a visitor's day and this is, we're going to actually jump to 38 members and then we're going to do another visitor's day over here and we're going to jump by another five or six members. Again, you are welcome to uh, do this in way more detail. Mechanisms for this, again, uh, you know, 
fill these out with things. Like, for example, maybe, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, we're doing a visitor's day and, you know, a good time to do that is, you know, probably as people are, you know, let's say getting back from summer vacation, you know, we hopefully we already have one going on in April and May right now. So let's say that we have a, a visitor's day going on in April now from the previous leadership term. So uh, visitor day, and maybe we want to start planning another one in September. Plan a visitor's day for October, right? So when people are back from their vacations and people are back at school and, you know, very, very ready and anxious to work, you know, maybe some things we can throw in there. Maybe we want to make sure that we do a, um, a stack day in June, um, you know, an education moment on how to invite. And you know, again, you can fill these out on your own. What I also recommend doing is you don't need to necessarily do this live in BNI Connect when you're planning out your goals. What I recommend doing is you'll notice uh, in this BNI, and, and I'm sorry, the, the GoToWebinar software, that little fold out that comes out you know, with, the, with all the pieces of this software, below where the questions are, you should see a thing that says, handouts. And in the handouts, I put in a handy dandy Excel spreadsheet that you can actually do this, have a leadership team meeting, discuss it. You can print out that spreadsheet and put notes on it. You could, you know, do it through the Excel spreadsheet and then go back and just enter these into BNI Connect. Keep in mind, BNI Connect has a 30 minute timeout. So that means that if you start doing this, let's say that you bring your laptop with you, you log into BNI Connect, you start doing this, all of a sudden you guys go off on a tangent and are talking for a half hour on some unrelated topic, you go back and you try to enter this in, it's going to log you out of BNI Connect. So every once in a while, the other thing you want to do is make sure that you save this. Are you sure you want to save it? I do. Um, that way, even if it logs you out, it will have saved the information. Unfortunately, there is no autosave feature yet. You do have to do that manually. All right, so now that we know the number of members that we would like in the chapter over this period of time, we also want to make sure that we're growing the chapter, and we do that through, well, new memberships. So we now need to know how many new memberships we need each month. So if we want to get to 32, that means we need two new memberships a month, right? Actually, it's not quite two. One thing that you want to keep in mind when you're looking at new membership numbers is that you also will have attrition. Every chapter has attrition. It's just a fact of life. People do, unfortunately, leave BNI. Um, and you know, some people, we even really, really wish they stayed. The general rule of thumb in BNI is that you know, most chapters will lose, will lose, on average, about 12 members a year, about one member per month. And again, that's, that's just a, a crazy average. Some, some chapters is more, some chapters have much better retention than that. But for calculation purposes and a nice cushion, I would say that you've got to count on at least one extra member to, to counteract attrition. So instead of really two new memberships per month, what we really need is three new memberships per month in order to hit that goal. And again, we have things that can help with this. Uh, you know, maybe we need to make sure we concentrate on the visitor orientation process where at the end of the meeting, the visitor host, they take that, that visitor, they take them out to the foyer or something like that and, you know, talk to them about the opportunity of being able to join the chapter. Um, all sorts of things. Again, remember, you can always check the chapter goal guide if you're looking for ideas. But now that we know the number of new memberships, where do new members come from? Hey, they come from visitors, right? So if we know how many new memberships we need, we know how many visitors we need to bring in. Now, and keep in mind, not every visitor joins, right? So you need to do a little research and find out what your conversion ratio is. There's a report in BNI Connect. It's called the Traffic Lights Report. And you can check out your conversion rate there. But essentially, you can also guesstimate this. And take a look at the POMS report. Take a look at you know, how many uh, you know, new members you have in a period of time. That's essentially the conversion rate. So if your conversion rate, let's say, is 
33%, nice convenient number, but let's say it's 33%, that means that really for every new member, you need to bring in at least three visitors, right? So the number of visitors we would need on a monthly basis to get three new members per month is going to be nine visitors, right? Three times three, nine. And once again, if you want to, you know, focus on this, you can look at the months you're having visitors days because those months maybe you'll have a goal of, let's say, 40 members or, you know, 40 visitors and, you know, 15 new members or something like that. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to go with this nice straight linear thing here. And, of course, we have our various mechanisms that can help with that. Again, we have the uh, you know, visitor day that we're doing here. Some can be in multiple months. And make sure you fill out some mechanisms. So now that we have that, let's look at the individual member metrics. So we have one-to-ones, CEUs, and referrals. And essentially, you know, we, use, we use a program in our region. Um, some regions use this as well. It's called the member traffic lights or the power of one report. So that's something that we ascribe to. The power of one report states that really what you're, you're, you want to be a productive member, you should strive for at least one referral, one CEU, and one one-to-one -one every week. So when you show up at your chapter meeting, you want to stand up and be able to say, I have a referral for somebody. I did a one-to-one, -one and I had a CEU this week. So if we're doing that, we kind of know pretty easily what we need. So make it easy. We have, uh, you know, basically, we have 30 members in the chapter this month. Let's go by four weeks in the month. So we're going to need about 120 referrals to hit that goal. And... Again, when we're adding more members, we're adding more referrals. We, let's say 128, 136, 144, 152, and 160. Now, here's the nice thing about the power of one. Your one-to-ones and your CEUs are going to be the same, 120, 128, 136, 144, 152, and 160. And the same thing for CEUs. Uh, some things that can help with that, you know, think things like the BNI game. That's a great competitive way to get everybody focused and involved with all of that activity on a monthly basis, on a you know, for a six to eight week period. So you can put something in like you know the the, the BNI game for a couple of months, maybe to get you through those those summer doldrums and be productive in the chapter. All right, so. You can uh, then make sure you save this once you're, you're done with this. Again, the nice thing is, is that as you start going through the month and through the months, every time you submit POMS reports, that report will be updated as well. So if I go to man back to Manage Goals and I go to View Chapter Goals, now by default, this is going to give you the previous six months since hopefully those were already entered. And if I click View, this will show me on a month-by-month -month basis you know, what was my mechanism, what the goals were, and, of course, did we achieve those goals, right? So th this is a pretty, uh, you know, yucky example because it's the Burr chapter in Antarctic. Let me show you a real chapter. Now, there's a region here in the United States. Um, it's the Tampa region of Florida, and actually the goals program was heavily influenced by uh, the executive director there, and one thing I know for sure is that Every single one of his chapters inputs the goals. Every single one of them. So I can just, I'm just going to randomly choose a chapter here. You know, in probably five years of doing this webinar, I have never come across one that has not been entered. So view chapter goals, and here we go. This is what the, where are they? The network referral group, the NRG chapter in West Chase of Florida, Tampa Bay. So their long-term vision is they want to be 41 strong, passing 4.1 million by 4-1. Right? So that, that seems like a 41-41-41 campaign. And the mission statement is growing our chapter to 40-plus members. We'll help one another grow our business and make more money. And they're going to use the power of one to do that. So let's take a look. Their attendance, they had a, a, a very great, a great goal of 100% attendance. Their actuals were 90%, 94, 93, 100, 93, 91. And here's some of the things that they chose to do. Some follow-up phones by the membership committee. Is everything okay? 
Uh, they did a holiday game for attendance. They had a, uh, you know, an, an opportunity drawing ticket for arrival before 7.15. They had a BNI attendance poker game. So all these different things that they can do to, to make attendance exciting. Uh, let's just scroll down their number of members. Did they hit that 41 goal? Uh, let's see. They started out at 38 as a goal, and they wanted to grow to 41. They started out with an actual of 31. And it looks like they steadily grew, 32, 33, 34, 35. They didn't hit their goal of 41 yet. But you know what? They went from 31 to 35. I'd say that's pretty good. You know, we can look at some of their others. And, you know, they're passing, you know, somewhere around, you know, quarter million to, uh, oh, they're getting up to about a half a million is what their goal is. But they're consistently passing between two and $300,000 a month. I'd say they're on the right track. So that, my friends, it is the bottom of the hour. I'd like to uh, you know, thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Uh, if, again, I'm happy to stay on this as long as there are questions. If you have any questions whatsoever, I, I would like to open that up for questions now. Uh, just type your question in, and I'll see that pop up on the screen, and I can answer those questions. While you're thinking of any questions, uh, again, if you do need to leave right away, thank you so, so much for being here with me today. A good referral for me is, you know, please help me promote these webinars. Uh, this is part of a series. We are continuing the series through the rest of the week. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the online renewal process for members and leadership teams. So if you're using online renewals in your region and you'd like a refresher or to learn how to do these online renewals, join me tomorrow at the same time. On Friday, we're going to go into the chapter web pages. So we're going to talk about your chapter web page, what, the, what type of things you can do to it uh, to really make it stand out. And then we're going to start this whole series over in April. We're going to do it backwards in April. We're going to start with the leadership team ones, and then we're going to go into the member ones. All right. So... Um, just a reminder also, we are recording this, and you will be able to find the recordings on the uh, regional website, and on the support website, as well as on the YouTube channel. All right, so we do have a, a question. Alicia, Alicia, who has been on a number of these webinars. Thank you so much, Alicia. Uh, Alicia says, uh, how do we engage our members to get more active with their BNI membership? How do we engage our members? So that that is a million dollar question. I mean, that is a you know <laughs> the struggle of every leadership team since the dawn of time, and I would add every director consultant um, as well. Now there there are a lot of answers to this, and for to, to answer that, I would really need to you know kind of delve into well, what are the things that they're actually struggling with? Is it is it attendance? Is it you know bringing referrals? Is it bringing visitors? Is it the chap uh, the chapter is you know stagnated? Um, you know those types of things. But I mean, the the really generic answer to this: engage them by making it worth their time to be there, right? When mem members that are happy to be there every week find more engagement because they're involved and they're, they're getting something out of it. So really, I mean, part of it is, and the simple answer is making the chapter successful. Um, now, how to make the chapter successful, that's really, you know, finding out where the gaps are, filling contact spheres, making sure that people have, you know, are able to refer to each other. Maybe there's a membership committee problem in the chapter that needs to be dealt with. Um, now, as far as, uh, you know, Alicia says, well, how do we get them to do more visitors one-to-one -one CEUs? I mean, one of the one of the just very simple tools that we have in our toolbox, um, we do have that that BNI game. Um, that is a a nice engagement tool for the chapter. Um, if you don't know what the BNI game is, check out uh, if you're the president of your chapter or talk to the president of your chapter. They should have a uh, it's called the chapter toolkit, and in there is all these things called meeting stimulants. Um, and different things that they can do. One of those is the BNI game, and quite simply, the BNI game is you split your chapter into teams, and they compete against each other for points. Yeah, you know, I don't know about your chapter, but we have some pretty, uh, you know, highly competitive entrepreneurs in our chapter. And as soon as you start throwing points on things, they start, you know, 
paying attention to it. You know, that competitive spirit comes out and, you know, this team wants to win. And you know what we do is we, we tend to focus on the things that we're struggling on most. So when we do the BNI game, we'll assign more points or we'll give bonus points to the things that we're trying to improve. You know, for example, you know, maybe, you know, showing up on time is five points. Maybe bringing a referral is 10 points. Maybe having a one-to-one -one is 10 points. And you know what? One of the things we're struggling with is visitors. So you know what? Maybe we want to make that 15 or even 20 or 25 points. And maybe if that visitor joins, they get to become part of that team that sponsored them. And it's worth like 50 points, right? So th those are the ways that you can kind of, you know, tweak that game a little bit in order to, to work it to your advantage um, and you know, motivate your chapter in that way. So that's, that's just one thing. What I, what I really recommend you do, Alicia, talk to your director consultant. Your director consultant knows your chapter much better than I do. You know, I'm, I'm here. I am a director consultant, but I'm all the way here in Rhode Island. I'm not exactly sure where you are. But again, your director consultant, your executive director, they will have much better ideas for your area, your chapter. They know your people, and they'll be able to consult with you and uh, you know, give you some feedback on what to do. You know, director consultants and executive directors, they love to have one-to-ones. We believe in this system as well. So set up a one-to-one -one with your director consultant or executive director, and uh, I'm sure they can help you out. Does that help, Alicia? I was a little bit vague on that, but. All right, do we have any other questions? Any other questions, comments, concerns, compliments, complaints? All right, you guys have all gone quiet, which means I think we are uh, all out of questions today. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. Um, I do look forward to seeing you on a future webinar and um, Again, a good referral for me. If you found this to be informative and helpful, please help spread the word about them, uh, both this series and the upcoming one. You'll also find all of these on your regional event calendar. That's an easy way to find the place to register for the next one. I wish you all a wonderful rest of your week, and in the meantime, happy connecting. <laughs>